Uh, now we have uh, messages from Tara Kauf and Ken Mayers. Both have visited Henoko as members of Veterans for Peace to show their solidarity. Today they are in Dublin, Ireland. Anthony Donovan tells you why they are there today. And then read their messages. Hello. First, I want to thank uh, the people for listening to us and stopping their drilling. That was great. Thank you. Whoever has it. Um, second of all, I want to thank the New York Public Library. Our public library system has enabled us to gather information and, uh, and have free information to everybody in the world about Okinawa and every other concern. So God bless this place and these great lions. And I want to these beautiful lions. And I want to thank Veterans for Peace, Veterans for Peace, uh, War Resisters League that are here, Catholic Worker, Grannies Brigade, and uh, all the Okinawans. I just want to th and, uh, thank you very much for this solidarity. So I'm here, been asked to read a letter from uh, Tarak, uh, who is over in Ireland with Ken. Uh, Jim will read Ken Mayers and Tarak Kauf, two veterans who have been to Okinawa, I think four times, in solidarity with the people there. And they are in Ireland, as, as was mentioned, because they tried to go to Shannon Airport, where our troops... Sh Ireland is a neutral country, and uh, their constitution says they're a neutral country. But our military uses Shannon Airport to transport nuclear weapons and to transport and to bring prisoners, not even prisoners, just these secret ops uh, prisoners to various bases. We carry munitions all through Ireland. So they went there to Ireland to say, Ireland, please, you're violating your own constitution by allowing the U.S. to use your soil. So please stand up and do something about it. Just like here in New York City, we've said no nuclear weapons in the New York City area, yet we have aircraft, we have ships that come into our harbor, and we know they have nuclear capacity. So anyway, this is a, a letter from our dear friend Tarak, who was with us just a week ago in solidarity here in New York City on tax day, where many of us were, and uh, he is now facing court in Ireland. God bless you, Tarak and Ken. So this is Tarak's message that he sent for us to read today. I want to express my love and my solidarity and respect for the people of Okinawa. This is Ken. Thank you. This is Tarak. That is Tarak and Ken. But now I can't read. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, uh, I have been to Okinawa four times to stand with the people in their struggle to prevent the U.S. bases from con continuing to desecrate their sacred land. Okinawa has been made into a sacrificial item, first by the Japanese during World War II, and now, now from the United States, which has bases all over Okinawa, polluting the land and for making the Okinawan people and the island a target for the U.S. aggression against China. China is only 300 miles away from Okinawa, and I am sure if there's any type of hostilities begin, Okinawa will be no more because the Chinese will retaliate. So what the United States is doing is making this island, this beautiful island, a target. Besides despoiling the island in every way, the United States military needs to leave this island. This is an island where the people believe in peace, and they want the beauty of their island returned to them. Veterans for Peace stands in solidarity with the struggle of the Okinawan people, which inspires people all over the world. It has been a day-to-day -day struggle. For the longest time, Okinawan people have not given up and will never give up. And this is something I deeply respect. So all gratitude and all respect to Okinawa and to the people 
of this beautiful island, Tarak Kauf. And now I hand the uh, mic to Jim of the War Resistance League, who's going to read Ken's. I was commissioned in the Marine Corps as a second lieutenant in 1958. And in the spring of 1960, I was based at Camp Schwab in Inoko, Okinawa, which I thought was just a beautiful place. And I really fell in love. I thought I was very, very lucky to be there. The unit I was in that spring participated in a joint operation training with the Chinese Nationals Marine Corps on the southern tip of Taiwan. And while we were ashore, when we ate our sea rations at night, as soon as we were finished, we were surrounded by little Taiwan kids begging for our sea ration cans so they could patch their tin roofs. This was the beginning of my change, which took me from being a Marine Corps officer who was I would be over the next eight years. I was astonished that we could spend so much money on this training exercise when our allies in Taiwan lived in such extreme poverty. Okay. I was surprised a year later when I was stationed in North Carolina that I didn't have to go very far from Camp Lejeune to also find the same kind of poverty. I was getting more and more disillusioned about the role of the American military. But what really made my final decision inevitable was when I was transferred to a national security agency for field activity again on Okinawa, where we were monitoring the North Vietnamese communications at the time of the Tonkin Gulf incident. And when Lyndon Johnson used that incident in the Bay of Tonkin to drag America into war, I knew I would have to resign my commission and change my career. Wow. I've made a couple of trips back to Okinawa. I think three so far to stand with the protesters in Inoko, trying to stop the expansion of, of Camp Schwab and the building of the airfield there. I want to add one thing, and that is that the Okinawans have the right idea. They are amazingly wise and strong. And it's the only place I know where there's a memorial honor that honors the dead of all sides. Whether they were Japanese or American, Okinawan, Korean, whether they were military or civilian, all of the dead that died in that horrendous battle on Okinawa are honored at the Peace Park, the cornerstone of peace. So thank you, Okinawa. And those are the words of Ken Mayers. Ken Mayers, yes. Yay. Thank you, thank you. So this is the photo of Ken and Fumiko. They got together in, at the, in front of Camp Schwab protest site. 